Hello, everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, success business with machine learning. So let's start this adventure together. My name is Evelina, and I am a Women Tech Makers Krakow lead. I am also a member of Women in Technology in Poland and uh, founder of uh, Tech Leaders Global. It is a series of four months long mentoring program organized all over the world. I'm also the CEO of Lonsley. It is a service-based company in which we focus on creating machine learning solutions, especially with the use of deep learning and natural language processing. So let's start uh, with a business perspective. What is machine learning? In 1959, Arthur Samuel defined it as, as a field of study that gives the computer the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. And actually, machine learning is a part of artificial intelligence, and the goal is to do tasks automatically without any human assistance. Why, why it is so powerful and popular right now? Because according to experts from DeepMind, machine learning and artificial intelligence market is going higher and higher, and it's going to reach 450 trillions of dollars by 2030. Even right now, according to Economic Policy Institute, people uh, that are in the field of, are in the top 5% of best paid people in the world. As you may know, uh, that leaders in the industry like Google, Amazon, Amazon, Facebook, and others, by introducing machine learning or artificial intelligence applications, are earning or saving millions or even billions of dollars. To point at only a few advantages that machine learning companies has against that, uh, the non-machine learning ones. Machine learning solutions can help identify new clients and new business opportunities. They work 24 per 7 across many countries and languages. They also uh, help us to collect data in more effective way. And uh, as well, they also help us to find hidden pattern and non-trivial co correlation in our data sets. They also help us to understand cl our clients' needs, especially right now in super noisy world with constantly changing market conditions. They also help us to identify new trends faster. They also help us to automate business processes and also support a lot of departments in the company, like marketing, customer, sales, and many, many others. We also reduced a lot of cost and, uh, and save time with machine learning solutions. But to win in this game, we have to start with the essence of creating mach unique machine learning solutions. So we have to start from the right direction that allow us to win in this game. So the right direction, what I mean is that the right direction is the right mindset. The statement in your head that, uh, that forces you to find a way or make a way. And, and it helps you to avoid procrastination while you are reaching your goals. And let's start with the thinking frequency. Because your uh, thoughts, your results and accomplishments are built by the habits and the thoughts, and your daily routine made you to the point you are right now. And if you meet the challenge that is on your frequency scale, it's not such a big deal. You are solving problems or challenges as soon as possible. But if you want to, reach something different, like solve a huge problem or, or reach your dream goal. You have to be somewhere, somewhere else on the frequency scale. So you can notice that you have to be on, uh, in the different position on the frequency scale if you have no idea how to achieve your goal or if the way seems impossible. So, first of all, you have to 
Now what you want to accomplish? Now your outcome. <coughs> now your your outcome. Sorry. Uh, do you want to be, for example, the best AI expert on this planet? Do you want to solve some fundamental problems like star starving children in Africa, or maybe terrorists in your country, or maybe create uh, something smaller? Then you have to focus on the quality of your questions. Because if you worry all the time and ask yourself questions that always put you down, it will not help you along the way. And the type of questions that put you down are like that you will never learn machine learning or something like that. So you have to change the quality of your questions to those who are more related to your goals that will support uh, them along the way. The questions like, how can you get there? How can you become an AI expert or something like that? It's up to you what kind of questions you would like to ask yourself because it's up on the goal you want to reach. Usually, you can define the group of questions into uh, skills, people, and resources. S resources means financial or human resources. So you can ask yourself, do you need the money? Do you need a team? Or how do you attract team? Or something like that. In terms of skills, you, want to you have to focus on the skills and knowledge that you or somebody in your team has to have to achieve this goal. And the third is people who can help you along the way. They can be mentors, journalists, any others that can help you. And a really crucial component in the creating machine learning solutions or creating something unique, unique is also intuition. It was mentioned by, by a lot of people who are on this planet at, and achieved amazing results. One of them is Steve Jobs. And the intuition is this inner voice that knows what next step should be. And the second person who also highlighted a lot about the importance of intuition and imagination was one of the famous scientists on the world, Albert Einstein. And the third one, who invented over 300 patterns. And even the radio in your, in your car is his invention. Nikola Tesla also talked a lot about the role of intuition and imagination when, when he created radio, the filler tray, and others of his inventions. In our life, a lot of things can limit us. It can be a person, a problem, or other things. But the truth is that they will limit us until we are all of them to do so. So how can we break this limitation during creating machine learning solutions? First, by breaking habits. I talk about changing the quality of questions that help you to reach your goals faster. But you can also apply something that is called 100 rule. And the 100 rule is focus on not making one or two tries and then give up, but to focus on the improvement of uh, over time. So rather than focus on one single experience that can be har harmful for you, you have to focus to be better every single day. So one thing is to build machine learning solutions. The second one, the second thing is to communicate it clearly. Why something is, why something is important. 
you as a developers may say that you can build everything, but business people often mainly don't know what are the possibilities of artificial intelligence or machine learning if they need if they need it in their businesses. So during your talk with people from different backgrounds, long hours of technical details are inefficient. And you have to focus on few components that you can communicate clearly. For me, in machine learning is a part of innovation. And innovation will change the world. And you can notice a lot of examples of successful machine learning solutions that are um, ap applied in a lot of industries, like, uh, for example, in healthcare, when they help to, help to improve pub uh, healthcare of publicity, public healthcare. So they help doctors to detect and also uh, prevent diseases even when there are no diseases symptoms. They even recommend you a music or even a whole playlist in your YouTube account or Spotify. They also help you to recommend uh, your film in your Netflix account. And in the near future, every single device will be smart and it will learn your, your expectations. And the amount of data that is produced every single day opens the new wave, the new wave of possibilities to create and reshape our lives. I have I don't have technical backgrounds, so I will not go deep in technical details. However, I will go through one of the, our work uh, in Lonsley. So, for one of the clients in the United States, a financial company, we created an international platform to support their operation and knowledge management. Our client was hiring, is hiring tyrants, thousands of people all around the world. And uh, the problem was to consolidate uh, all the information from 75 legacy system that uh, help to benefit uh, their employees like analysts, traders, and all other employees. And to create the solution that are related to real-time operations. And uh, the, we, have to, we had to build a tool that allow for rapid data analytics and knowledge management as well, and gather all the information like invoices, like documentations, and many, many others. And we also made the, cha made the problem that with the huge maintenance costs because of using 75 legacy system and also with types duplications along uh, different teams. So we built the solution that gather all the information across the company and then get it into the valuable insight to support operations and also speed up the, trade, the trading operations and also support the effective, the, support uh, the employee to be more effective. So the solutions was divided into two parts. The one part was a processing subsystem and the second one was an employee personal assistant. And the result was that after consolidations, all the systems, we split them into six warehousing. And the efficiency of computing increased around 40%. And we have also, we've reduced maintenance by 70%. And 
and also a hub of uh, solving about problems with data consistency and about bottleneck. And the second part of the solutions, an employee personal assistance, help to automate uh, a lot of daily tasks and help our clients' employees to focus on more important tasks rather than searching for the clarifications. So at the end, we help to save about 20% of daily working time. So the future is now, and we as an AI experts should grasp as complex problems as we can to solve the biggest and the most fundamental problems that we as a humanity are facing. In the, the wizards of tomorrow will be the people who will work with the data and also who, who will know how to ask proper questions to live, life, to live the life of tomorrow. Not only to use fancy concepts, but also to create solutions that matters. Thank you. Do you think people have a bad attitude to AI? If yes, how to change it? Somebody would like to ask the questions over there. Or have questions. Well, it depends. It depends on the kind of data or solutions that, that we created because when we are using, um, let's say, the data with violence or other bad behaviors, we can teach, um, teach the algorithms uh, bad behaviors. So in our uh, responsibility, uh, responsibility is to just um, make sure that the data are, are correct. However, if we want to detect, for example, some unwanted patterns like detecting terrorism, we have to use some, uh, some data that are full of uh, unwanted behaviors. So it depends it depend on what kind of solutions we want to create and also what we are doing with those data. So we as uh, creators are responsible for the results. Uh, Some people think having much courage in thinking is madness. Thank you. What do you think of that? I don't think that there's a madness because uh, I noticed, I, I show you a few examples of people that have the courage that, to change the world and only the people who, who will be courage enough to stand for the values and also what is really important for them are the ones who will create results. So uh, it's upon you, it's upon you how far you will go with your courage and imagination and the results that you will crea create. How do you think every business needs to use uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence to improve their sales? On or there, uh, are, there are kind of businesses that don't need it. Um, actually, we as a, as a company created tailored solutions and they, those kind of solutions are dedicated to huge companies and, and corporations. So mainly uh, corporations and, and huge companies will be the ones who benefit the most. However, uh, as a smaller company, you can also improve sales by uh, using some 
uh, solutions that are ready on the market. So it depends on the scale of business and in what kind of industry uh, we are looking for. However, uh, in the near future, um, more and more uh, data that will be created will affect business and business will be more and more dependent on data. So my point is that uh, for bigger companies, it's better to create tailored solutions. However, for the smaller one in general, uh, it's better to, to use some ready uh, solutions that are available on the market. Who usually defines which metrics should be gathered from data? Uh, we as AI experts. Is machine learning overhyped? I don't think so. Because <laughs> uh, I pointed only a few of examples of, of, of machine learning uh, applications. And as I mentioned, in the near future, every single device will be smart. And uh, it helps uh, businesses to, to produce, uh, to create um, better and better um, products or services. Uh, so there are tremendous results standing behind machine learning solutions. Should you continue to try something when you are in bad mood or feel exhausted or it's better to take a rest? <laughs> it depends uh, on the deadline. Um, but actually, it's better to find a balance. Let's call it a balance and uh, rest. However, uh, my point is that sometimes you have to express your potential even if you are exhausted. Business people don't know how to apply machine learning. Could you please give some success example of its application? One of success examples of, of machine learning applications I was talking about. So my point was that not to just, uh, when you are talking with, with business people, not to just focus on, oh, you see, uh, Netflix just uh, earn billion of, of dollars by improving the a machine learning algorithm, but my point is that to just focus to search for the case studies for your client's industry, because uh, it will interest them the most, and if there are no example of the case studies, you have to reach uh, something similar from, from the different industries. Could you please give uh, some more example of practical products which uh, your company uh, can offer? Actually, we create uh, products on demand, and usually we created an employee assistant or assistants that support customer services. Um, What is the cost of development of rep represented solutions case? Um, I will not go deep in this question uh, because it was a part of, of the contract that we made. Uh, however, it 
costs a lot, more than a million of dollars. So, but uh, it is the answer to the question. What is the best way to start an emotion learning technologies and how long it takes to make profit from it? Hmm. My point is that you have to define uh, who you want to be in this area because you can be, you can run a company, you can be uh, researchers, data scientists, and you, you have to also focus on some uh, area like deep learning, computer vision, maybe others. So uh, the, this goal should be uh, defined more clearly. And then you can just, uh, by uh, also studying the path of others that uh, are in the industry and get the results, you, you will have the, those answers. What resources you would recommend to check out to get started? I just recommend to go and see what is really what you are passionate about in the part of of knowledge because it's huge and and we are we will talk about machine learning but there are a lot of smaller part of it so you have to decide uh, what kind of knowledge you would like to study more. Is that all? Yeah. Thank you for information. Thank you for your answers.